Um, I've always wanted to help others and that's what led me to teaching that impact, the impact that you have on your kids every day, the hard work, the long hours, there's that one moment in, in a day where you see them smile or get excited about something, that's why you do it. I was a student that struggled in the traditional setting, but because of those great teachers, I knew that learning was possible for all students, and I wanted to be able to do that too. Uh, the school I was at last year had traditional seating. All the students were always in a desk. The, everything was assigned to them. They didn't have a lot of opportunities to move around, to stand up, and they were not always in an environment that could encourage collaboration. Environment is very important uh, in the learning process. Uh, one of the things that uh, is important is, is kind of, uh, it helps keep students engaged uh, in the learning uh, process. And so we wanted to make sure that the furniture was inviting, very kid-friendly, uh, very easy uh, to move around in the classroom. And, and that allows teachers kind of to do different things and, and assist them in the learning process as well. Coming to this environment, I have, I can change each group. Um, with the different seating. I can put different chairs there, I can um, organize the groups in different ways, and it gives my kids more of an excitement when they get to that station or when they get to that group. The way that I can move the desks and fit them together is changing my teaching. Because before it used to always be about your shoulder partner. But now, if let's say this one group is already formed, they have their shoulder partner. Well, someone else can quickly, easily join them and not feel like they have to come and share a corner of their desk. They can move their furniture quickly and be connected with them in a matter of seconds without my help. The kids walk in every morning. They do not have an assigned desk. They walk in and they choose anywhere in the room that they want to sit, whether that be on the floor with the clipboard, whether that be at the docking station over here by the TV. I even use our little center carts as tables. Um, there's different collaborative groups. I have pairs. If you want to work individually, you can work there. We have big circle groups. You can work there as well. And then throughout the day, since the desks actually move and the kids are capable of doing that, we wheelbarrow style and we'll move into a circle if we need to do a circle group. Or today we made a little bowling alley because we were doing a social activity. Um, so I use them in a lot of different ways. Never uh, had a company come in and train our staff. Again, this was a, a brand new concept for us, uh, incorporating the furniture with the learning process. So we wanted to make sure that we brought in uh, the experts in how to best use, uh, and ideas on how to best use some of that furniture uh, for our uh, faculty and staff. When they first told us that we would be trained on furniture, I thought, really? I really need to be trained on furniture? <laughs> Waste <But> my time. <laughs> but it was really fantastic. Mm -hmm. They came in, they were so energetic, they had lots of great ideas, and they actually took us to a classroom and put us in the setting with the furniture and moved things around, had us help them move things around. They gave us all kinds of ideas that we could use in the classroom and so it was great because it was really hands-on for us too. And after actually getting to move the desk mm -hmm. we looked at each other and we're like we thought we were ready mm -hmm. and we both came back to our rooms and said flexible seating and we started moving the furniture around. It motivated us. Had they not come we probably would have just had groups of four. But since they came and described all the fun things that we could do with it, we, we mm -hmm. felt like ready and determined to decide if, yeah, take it by the horns. The main reason is because I love kids. I, um, everybody will say, you know, teachers this, teachers that, and no matter what, I love kids. And for that kid to come to me and say, Miss Evans, you taught me this. Little things like that, that's what makes me do what I do. To change, change the way kids feel about themselves in a positive way. For me, it's being the safe place for kids and being the person that they can lean on when they need it, being the person that can possibly provide that first smile for them in the day, and being the person that can congratulate them on all of their victories, whether it's they just got one multiplication problem right, or they can come in and tell me about their baseball game, 
or whether they earned a hippo ticket, I want to be the biggest cheerleader for all of my students because when I was a kiddo, that's all I needed from my teacher. I did not care at the end of the day if I mastered division. I just cared that you cared about me and that's it. That's it for me.